Hey guys, MCU Clutch here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Spider-Man No Way Home Armadillo Build-A-Figure Wave. Here we have the black and gold suit Spider-Man. So, crazy stuff. Before I get into it, you guys are all going to ask and everyone's going to ask, where did you get these figures from? Walmart has started to receive these, so I got it now. They are officially street dated for October 1st, but uh, Walmarts don't typically put any kind of register block. Um, so that is how I got it. So we're going to take a look at it. We see the Spider-Man No Way Home movie logo on there and it actually has the official title on there. So that is pretty cool. Up at the top, there is a Spider-Man, lo a spider logo there. And in the corner, it says Marvel's, uh, build a figure Marvel's Armadillo. Side artwork of the black and gold suit looks pretty good. The assumption from what people are saying and thinking is that this is his suit just inside out. Whether it's to get away or hide or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Do I think it's inside out? I think it could be. I don't know for sure. The other thing is, he's got red on his forearms and his gloves. That has been changed. That will not be the case for the movie. So unfortunately, um, the, again, you know, concept art hits again. But even Hot Toys, when they first announced their Hot Toys figure of this suit, had the red on the gloves and everything. Hot Toys has since updated and said, oh yeah, no, we updated it. It's not gonna be there because it's gonna be more movie accurate. Hot Toys is able, to, I guess, to course correct because Hot Toys figures usually come out like a year after the movie, so they have time to make adjustments, whereas Legends and Hasbro unfortunately can't. I didn't mind the red. I know a lot of people didn't like it and really liked the clean look of the black and gold by itself, um, but I didn't mind it. I thought it kind of helped differentiate a little bit. I thought it was kind of cool. One other thing is we don't have some of those uh, forearm straps or something magic-like, Doctor Strange-like. Um, that the Hot Toys figure has. Um, so it's going to be interesting. But anyway, you can see it comes with the build a figure part for Armadillo. Here's a look at the back of the package. We get a different look at Spider-Man. The bio reads, Spider-Man relies on his black and gold suit and abilities to defend against threats. Again, very generic. We don't know what's going on. Here we have all the figures in the wave. We've taken a look at the integrated suit. We're on black and gold. Next will be Doctor Strange, then J. Jonah Jameson, Miles Morales, Morlun, and then Shriek. So, black and gold suit. Let's get to it. Okay, and here is the black and gold suit out of the package. One thing about this figure that I didn't realize until taking it out and taking a closer look at it is the fact that this figure is the exact same figure as the upgraded suit Spider-Man figure. It is not any different. 100% same sculpt um, and just, you know, different deco, obviously. But he's still got pins at the elbow. He's still got pins at the knees because, again, it is the upgraded suit just painted, which gives a little bit more... Um, which makes me think a little bit more. Maybe this black and gold suit is just the upgraded suit turned inside out. You know, in Spider-Man Homecoming, we had seen what the suit kind of looked like on the inside. Maybe that is what's going on here. Don't know for sure, but it could very well be the case. But one thing that sets this figure apart from other Spider-Man figures... Um, and not all of them, but there are painted web lines on this one. They're all gold paint. So it's all just a black figure with some of that gold paint on there. And we get a little bit of red on the forearm and the hands, which again, I had kind of already talked about the fact that in the movie, they actually changed that to where there's no red or anything like that. So in typical MCU Spider-Man figure fashion, we only get um, fist hands and thwip hands. You can see that red is quite bright on there. No wall calling hands for the black and gold suit either. He comes with the left leg to the armadillo build a figure and this thing is quite large there we get some nice painted uh, toenails on there so that is looking beefy we're going to throw that off to the side um, and now we're going to take a closer look at the black and gold suit and hopefully on camera i can get it to where you see some of the really cool details that are on this figure so if you've seen images of like hot toys and other things there's a little bit of gold detail whether it's like the 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 the, the motherboard electronics look to it um, you don't really see that on the figure, but it turns out they actually did do it in some parts. So hopefully I can get that on video so you guys can see it for yourself. Okay, so here's an up close look at the black and gold suit. So you can see the web lines are painted uh, gold on there. Now one thing, if you look at the figure and you see it looks like the black is kind of sloppy where it's got some shiny spots and some spots that are flat and dull looking, that's because they actually added in some of the detail of the, you know, that tech look to it in certain spots. So like here on the legs, hopefully you can kind of see it. Let me kind of play around with the brightness here. Um, so really bright, you know, obviously this isn't going to look really good for the video to take a look at the, the details. But one thing I wanted to show you is those added spots 
kind of throughout the figure. Let me see, is there a different way I could do this? Maybe you could see it right where the light is shining on it. So they added in all that, um, you know, that circuitry detail. They didn't really do it on the back, of course. You know, you wouldn't really ex expect them to, except they did miss some spots with some gold paint on some of the web lines. Um, but yeah, they, so the tech it, it, the, is all added to there, to the hips, to the legs. They do it kind of throughout some of the other portions. So here on the arms, the bicep, you can actually see it right there in the fronts. Not really on the sides or anything like that. They do it on the chest in some areas. Hopefully you can kind of see it a little bit through in between some of those web lines and a, a little above the spider uh, logo. And then actually in the head, you get some of it as well. So I think in the head sculpt, you can kind of see it a little bit more, a little bit more clear. So they did add some of those details in. So they did it a black on black. So of course it's going to be a little bit harder to see, you know, on camera how that will come across. I'm going to try to do some, um, I'm going to try and get some pictures to see if I can get some of those details to stand out and some images and then post uh, to Instagram. But I think it can be a little bit tough. Uh, looking at the rest of the figure, again, it is the same as the upgraded suit. No difference whatsoever to it. So now uh, let's check out his articulation, which we already know how it's going to be because you know most most of you guys probably have this figure so let's check it out now okay so the black and gold suit articulation he can look down that much the uh, the head is on a disc hinge so you can move up that much so without the dumbbell joint you aren't going to get crazy pivot for all kinds of different expressions but you get a tiny little bit and then full rotation of course you can get the arms to go up that high basically straight out you get a full rotation in there um, you do have a butterfly joint which works out a lot better than like the integrated suit so you can go back that much you can come forward uh, a little bit as well you have an upper bicep swivel in there you get a double jointed elbow which is pinned so it doesn't look so bad on here because you get black but you miss a little bit of gold but then on the inside you know right here where it should be red you know you don't get any red even though I guess in the movie technically it's not actually red in the movie anymore so you know I guess it, it could kind of work out uh, he can crunch forward that much he can crunch back that much you get a waist swivel in there legs go out that far apart he can kick forward that much you can actually go back a little bit upper thigh cut in there double jointed knee like so no calf swivel boot swivel or anything foot hinges down that much you get a little bit of hinge going up ankle pivot peggles at the bottom of the feet now let's see him next to the other mcu uh spider-man figure spoiler warning i'm using the same clip that i did from the integrated suit video Okay, so here is a lot of MCU Spider-Man. So technically there's been a couple of others that have released. We got the two-pack version that came with the Iron Man Mark 47 Century. We have the Iron Spider from the Avengers Infinity War two-pack Target exclusive with Iron Man Mark 50. We also had the Captain America Civil War version, which wasn't technically film accurate, so I didn't uh, bother including it here. And... That may have been all of it. So a lot of different Spider-Man figures. So we have the two from the new movie, um, Spider-Man No Way Home, the integrated suit, Spider-Man, and the black and gold suit. We have the upgraded suit, Iron Spider, Zombie Hunter so Spider-Man. We have the Night Monkey Stealth suit, the, um, the school jacket one, the two-pack exclusive with MJ, and the Target exclusive. We have the tech suit, and then we have the homemade suit. So that's a lot of MCU Spider-Man figures. Um, the one that I think is probably the best made was probably the integrated suit Spider-Man, the homemade or the Stark tech suit. Black and gold is okay. Upgraded suit was just okay. That bright red really took that one down. Iron Sp Spider was okay. The, uh, more accurate version was definitely better. Um, so we have all those you guys let me know down in the comments below which one is your favorite Spider-Man suit design for the movies and then which one is your favorite figure. Uh, so you guys know the Tom Holland head sculpt from the uh, Iron Spider 2-pack does pop on there, especially since they are going to be including this head sculpt with the, um, the upgraded suit Walmart exclusive that's coming out. 
Okay, so here for Spider-Man No Way Home, here are our two figures from the movie. How um, he acquires both suits or what he does, flips it inside out, or how he gets this one. How those things are going to happen yet remain to be seen. Um, I can't wait for the movie. December 17th, I believe, is the release date. I'm really excited. I hope there's no delays or anything and we get the, the movie to come out. Hopefully another trailer comes out soon. Um, Venom is coming out later this week. It's all going to be very exciting, and I cannot wait. You guys let me know down in the comments below. Um, are you excited for the movie? What do you think of the black and gold suit? What do you think of the integrated suit? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys like the video, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.